Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you display item rulers in Reaper. As you probably know, you can change the main ruler up here by right clicking and choosing either minutes and seconds, measures beats, minutes and seconds, just measures and beats, or seconds, samples, hours, minutes, seconds and frames, or absolute frames. But we could also have a ruler on each item. Now you're probably thinking, why would you want this? Well, if you're working on a movie, a video game, or a radio spot, or just a mastering session, you might want to keep track of the timing on each item. Let's say we're mastering an album, and on song two, we need to find 10 seconds into the song, because the client is hearing a click or a pop. Well, to do that, we have to go to the beginning of that song, hit tab, change the project settings to reset it at zero right here, and then go 10 seconds in and find that spot right about over here. But that's not the best way of working. We have to keep resetting our ruler each time and reset it for each item we want to work with. Let's put that back to zero. And instead, let's use the feature display item rulers. We'll select the item we want the ruler for and then right click it, item settings, display item ruler. And then we could choose which one we want. I'm going to choose item time. Then we see a ruler right down here. So if we want to jump to 10 seconds in that item, which could be a song or a video, we could do it very quickly right from here. Here's 10 seconds, or 11 seconds, or 9 seconds, all based on the start of this item. And it's going to change if we trim the item. If we bring it in, the zero moves with it, whether it be shorter or longer. So it's based on the beginning of that item. And we can change the type by right clicking and changing it to hours, minutes, seconds, and frames, like this, or based on the source time. And as you can see, you could turn it on and off for each one. If we right click it, we could turn it off by choosing it again. Now we could also jump to different time positions in the item. Like in our example, if I want to jump to 10 seconds in here, I can go down and double click in the transport to open up the jump dialog. Or we can hit the keyboard shortcut, Control J on PC or Command J on Mac. That opens it up like that. So by default, we could jump to any part of our project, but we could also do it relative to our cursor. So if we wanted to move 10 seconds later than our cursor, just type in plus 10, because we're based on seconds right now, and it moves that cursor 10 seconds in. But we started a little earlier than the item. Let's tab first and do it again. Plus 10. And it moves the cursor 10 seconds in, which we could double check by viewing the display item ruler. And we could see we're exactly 10 seconds in. And we could also jump based on the item. Instead of moving it relative to the cursor, we could just select the item, go to jump, type in I to jump the time in selected item. So I'll type in I 10, and it goes to 10 seconds in that item. And it's based on the first item we select. So if I select this one and this one, and type in I 40, it goes to 40 seconds from the start of the first selected item which is right here. 
which is about 11 seconds into the second item. So it's based on the first one you choose. So if I just choose this one, type in I 10, it jumps to 10 seconds within the item, which you can see by looking at the display item ruler. And there's a few actions we can use to turn this feature on and off. Let's go to the actions menu and type in display item and we can see them right here. And it's gonna to toggle by default. If we run it, turns it off, hit it again, it turns it on. Or we could choose hours, minutes, seconds, and frames to use that one instead. And it toggles it on and off. Like I said, it's very helpful for dealing with movies or films or video games, or radio spots, or especially for mastering. Where well, you can't use the ruler up top to know the exact times inside our items. So that's pretty much it. That's display item rulers in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!